Strings louder. Hello and welcome. Hi guys, uh, thanks for joining us for this one. It's uh, Trailer View Boys and today we're going to be reviewing the Ip Man 4 trailer. So without further ado, let's go. So you're a teacher? I am a teacher. I teach Chinese Kung Fu. Like a gymnast? <laughs> yes, something like that. Hey, Chinaman, and I'm here to show you yellow bitches the taste of real combat. Fight me, cowards. That's bad. Gola. We are not going to use Chinese art. 去改變外國人對我哋華人嘅偏見。這些老外無時無刻想撵我們走。Is that it? Is this your Chinese kung fu? Nice, nice, nice. Um, so what I, do you think, man? Because you, you've you've actually never seen any of these um, Ip Man films, have you? No, and I've got a question about the beginning of that that trailer. Okay. Um, <laughs> does the guy the very beginning? You might have to rewatch it. Okay. Um, in the in the um, yeah the white kung fu. <laughs> yeah. What's what's he called? Don't ask me. Look, no, I don't they know wear the white kung fu suit or whatever, don't they? The, the white kung fu oh, suit. I'm, I'm t- this yeah, is okay. poor. This is yeah. bad. Um, and he's like, oh, I'm going to teach you yellow bitches how to fight. Does yeah. he say yellow bitches how to fight? Is that what? It, yeah. Is that like a? Yeah, this is set in a time where there's heavy racism in the United States. Okay, I just wanted to check. That's actually what which he is said. a weird phrase to say. Because I feel like there's always a fucking time of heavy racism in the states. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just moving yeah, on. I just wanted to move. Um, well, we'll move on. From that. I just thought, did I hear that? Yeah, that no, why? you definitely heard it. Like um, a glorious return to you know mainstream big big film for Donnie Yen. Oh, can't tell you how much I love this guy. Donnie Yen is the one for me. Um, you'll be pleased to know because I know you're such an avid avid watcher they've got the return of uh, Kent Cheng Kent Cheng Kent Cheng okay right I'm totally led to say that name even though it sounds like I'm saying something else so he's um, I'm guessing he's American <laughs> absolutely yeah um, 100% um, yeah so no I, I, I actually I know that sounds silly I'm you're actually looking surprised. forward to this aren't you Ip Man 2 Kent Cheng was, was appeared in itself I am massively looking forward to this to be honest with you I'm a massive fan of I'm a massive fan of martial arts films like that because I feel like I mean, dude, you had like Jet Li, the one. Yeah. You know what I mean? That was a cool. That like, was awesome. We had, I think um, for the era, though, as well. That was Jet Li Unleashed, film. as well, where we had the collar. Yeah. I mean, yeah. it's just, you know, I'm, 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 those sort of films really catch These films me. always seem to fly under the radar, but I think they're. You get a lot of fan base from the anim, anime guys that, that um, yeah. typically watch. Yeah, they watch a lot of anime and fights. I mean, the, the beauty about watching a film like this as well is that the, um, the martial arts are so well choreographed as yeah. well. I mean,. No, there's no way in a million years any of that is actually real. You're not doing it like No, no, you're right. But it's just it's just a nice, wonderful yeah. make belief world we all live in where like you, you watch someone do that and go, Oh my god, it's so badass, I wouldn't want to mess with yeah. him like you know where in real life the actor would be surrounded by twenty bodyguards that would mess you up. Yeah. Like you know what I mean? But no, I think it's all, I, th- I just love that style of film. Um I don't think um personally yeah. it makes me want to watch more only because this is a the fourth one of yeah of um yeah so I feel like I needed to have seen the first, second, and third to then be excited to say yeah these ones don't maybe, ones maybe for more. the excitement yeah I don't think it's going to massively heavily need the first or the second one yeah. it looks like you could watch one. it as a standalone and yeah, still I enjoy think been clever enough to do that what you're watching yeah but uh, no I'm massively hyped for it I'm just a massive Donnie Yen fan I just think after watching him after seeing him in Star Wars Rogue One. Yeah, you know playing, I mean? a playing, character playing the blind. Yeah. Um, spoiler alert! If you've never seen it, spoiler alert! Yeah, which well, at any <clears throat> point the alert will go off. So I'll I'll start that again. So spoiler alert! If anyone's not seen Star Wars Rogue One, 
Hey, come on, guys. We're still For another spoiler alert. Son of a bitch, I didn't even get mine out there. <laughs> what the fuck? Um, I, I, I haven't um, yet changed the spoiler alert colour to red from orange. Oh, man. That's still a thing. How have you got red alert as our spoiler <laughs> alert? And it's on the orange light. I what know, the fuck? Sorry. So your spoiler alert. <laughs> Thank you. Um, so, yeah, Donny Anne's in Rogue One and he plays the sort of blind... The blind Everybody thinks he's going to be a Jedi. Yeah. Turns out he's not a Jedi mm-hmm. guy. Just a fan of. Yeah, yeah. But, um, but yeah, and he was awesome in that film. And he's, and he's been in all sorts of films. And I just think, I think over this side of the pond, because I know he's massive in, in like Japanese yeah. and Chinese film. Yeah. I think over this side of the pond, he's, yeah, he's found it hard to break through and get those roles, man. And, um, okay. But that said, Hitman 4, I'm really excited about it. It's just making you want to watch more. 100 percent like to yeah. be fair, but it, but might be a little biased because as soon as I saw the poster, like, I, I, I was like, it. I'm watching this film. Yeah. So I can see a lot of other people getting excited for it as well. So I'm, I'm going to agree with you. Yeah, I'm going to agree but, with uh, you. On that. But you know, I, that's how I feel. And I think like the use of music is kind of cool as well because it's not like you know, let's face it, a few films you've watched, it's always like the Japanese. Ding, yeah, it does. Ding, 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 there is some afterthought, there, I think, so. with some of the music. Actually, I agree with you on that. I think in the beginning. Tried. I think they've tried. I, I am willing to say it's only worth half a star, though. Okay, it's, it's nowhere near pumping enough for I'll me to... i with that, yeah. Because I'll ask you now, what was, the, what was like two words of that track that were in, in that track? Of the, oh, I can't tell you. That's what I'm I remember is that... That's what, yeah, that's what I mean. Like, come on, man. So, half a star. I'll give you half a star. So, one and a half so far? Yeah, we're chatting too bad. I mean, plot-wise, I personally think... Um, it man, they usually throw a twist in the plots anyway. So it wouldn't give away the so plot in this I trailer. I don't think it would, no. I don't think I could personally. put a plot together myself anyway. No, other than, um, you know, Chinese man fights yep. like guys that keep telling him he's, they're Chinese. But other than that, yeah. which is unfortunately, again, spoiler alert, I'll just press it from now on, I think. <laughs> spoiler alert. Uh, <laughs> so, <laughs> sat there like, any second now. Yeah. Um, spoiler alert, which is pretty much the uh, plot in any any film, is somebody thinks they can do martial arts better than Donnie Yen, yeah. and Donnie Yen has to prove, no, he can't. Yeah. <laughs> but, um, so I, I personally think it's you know it's good that it doesn't reveal that, because for, yeah, for a beat-em-up film, mm-hmm. that ain't bad luck, you know what I mean? Two and a half stars so far, not too bad. It's yeah, doing well. Yeah, too bad, man. Yeah, doing too bad. But I don't know if this is going to divide us now. Okay. Because I love the punch sound. I love the. Yeah. I love that. Like ever since I seen the Matrix and I've seen it in films, that just kind of there's a little five year old inside of me yeah. that just like beams in joy, man. That's just like, oh, this is gonna be a good film. Like I don't I know think, how you I feel think about it. If you were born in the nineties like we were, then yeah, you can enjoy that part of the movie making and the sounds. But I think if you were born anything past two thousands, oh, I don't know. Let's not make this a generational thing, bro. No, let's like, let's not no. put. Yeah. So you're, right, you're, you're, hold on, you're, divided on are, it. are you really going to be that much of a white man that you're going to try and speak for a, a generation you're not even a part of? Yeah. <laughs> you're seriously going to sit there and go, well, there's this generation that I know nothing about, and I think this is how they feel. Yeah. <laughs> like, okay, okay. Well, I don't know, like, this is what I said to divide us. Where do you think half star, full star? I, I'm willing to say it's cheesy, so maybe half a star. Yeah, yeah. Okay, we'll go half a star. Okay, yeah. so we're on three stars at the moment. Yeah. Um, I think the special effects look wicked for this because... Under no circumstances has this film not got special effects because there's no way someone's getting through in 12 feet yeah. from one punch without lines being hid. I think special the, effects and the special effects screen. are purposely the way they are for what yeah. they're trying to achieve. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're not making try to look real. Yeah, there's no. Life. Guys flying around the. Yeah, there's no blue beam sky. No, so it's. You know what I mean? Yeah, no one's getting in a I mech suit. They've achieved what they wanted out of special effects. No, hundred percent. Like a lot of it, a lot of it are clearly practical effects. But then yeah. there's the special effects behind those to hide the practical effects. Like, yeah. the, like I said, there'll be lines that will be hidden up and touched up with green, green, yeah. green, green effects. And however, it is they do it. But um, for me, no, that uh, I think that gets a full star personally. Yeah. Well, I don't know if I'd say the trailer's been put together very well. No, I don't. I wouldn't say it flows as much as others I can. Feel, and... I feel like there's a better way to cut that. Yeah, to get same. people to go. Oh, Agreed. I really want to watch that. Yeah, I'm glad you mentioned so, that. and I'm a massive fan, and it's killing me to say it. Like, you know what I mean? But if we're going yeah. to review it properly, yeah, 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 I, I think it fails. Falls a little flat on the on the chopping the editing part. But still, with your special effects editing, that's you know we would give that four stars. Four stars? Is that right? I believe so. I thought it would be three. Okay, so let's two do the half rundown. stars and two two uh, two full stars. Let's do the rundown then. So, does it make us want to watch more? We said yes. Yeah. 
Um, does it give away the plot? We said no, so that's two stars. Okay. Make good use of music and sounds. We said a half, half. so two and a half. Does the trailer um, look pretty good? Well, no. And special effects are three and a half stars then. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Yeah, good. So, so. To be fair, though, three and a half stars, that's pretty good compared to some of the other trailers we've reviewed. Mate, to be fair, for some of the films that look a lot bigger budget than this, yeah. and we've, and we've like, I mean, that Nicolas yeah. Cage one, for Christ's sake. Oh, yeah. <sighs> but, yeah, no, I, I really like the look of this. And uh, I don't know, man, like, shout out, man. Is there any other Donnie Yen fans out there? There's got to be, man. Like, Or, you know what, just this sort of martial art movie. Yeah. Like, What are we missing? Fans out there, because, I mean, I remember growing up and watching Enter the Dragon with Bruce Lee. And my mind being blown and me walking around for the next three weeks as a kid going Whoa! every time I open like a jar of beans or something. Everyone tries to do that little that type punch. Yeah, that, that you one. See yeah. in the trailer, but yeah, into the chair. Yeah, Everyone's the one inch punch, like, man. Oh, it's getting you know, it's, it's getting a mate that will trust you enough to hit you with every, like let you hit them with everything you got. I know it's only six inches, but it's still a lot of yeah. It's yeah. the shoulders and everything, bro. Yeah. Technique. You've practiced friend. this, I can tell. Uh, I tried. But um, yeah, for retail trust people, if there's um, anything you want to see us review or if there's any old trailers that you want us to look at just for a joke. So we, believe it or not, December coming up, Christmas, we have got a lot of mess about sessions coming up where we are going to take a lot of look at the older trailers. For shout. Sure. Just to see what we missed out on. But yeah. um, thank you very much for listening, guys. I've been Alex. And I've been Damien. And we'll see you on the next one.